Hi there smartphone fans, this is Stephen Fox and today I have here for you the cheapest tri-bezel-less phone on the market and it's the Lego Kika Mix. Yeah, it's not a mouthful from China. <laughs> um, this one is not that heavy on the specs but this pack and decent optical, 32 xfm both storage, 3 xfm RAM uh, with uh, front fingerprint scanner, Android Nougat and USB Type-C which is very very nice because you just see just $109 phone we're talking about here and this is the new trend of tri bezel-less phones or bezel-less phones as they call them but I would like to see this one because I really don't think they can do a bezel-less phone for $100 uh, it would be definitely insane so let's check the package out I'm very eager to, to test this device and see if it actually is any good uh, now do lower your expectations please this is a $100 phone do not expect $500 Xiaomi Mix 2 here. Just let's see if it works and if it's okay. So far so good. The metal back looks solid. It's very very good build construction. Very stylish. Uh, uh, it's very small. It's a 5.5 inch device but uh, it's definitely on the footprint of a 5 inch one. The USB Type-C is definitely what I like to see in a $100 phone since uh, even Xiaomi and Meizu don't have that in the $100 phones and this is the standard the manufacturers have to move on very very nice here i didn't see um headphone jack in here so this is something that's missing of course and uh, the front camera is also on the bottom and here is the elephone s8 for a quick comparison the elephone s8 is a six inch device so you do get the feeling that this is more like a five inch than a six inch or 5.5 uh, very good build construction very good quality uh, on the k on the uh, shell itself from Lego and this is compared to the Vernium Mars Pro which is a 6000 mAh battery phone uh, the Lego Kika Mix is a bit thicker I think at around 8.4 millimeters let's see what's in the box and boom USB Type-C headphones in the box from Lego very very nice even $300 phones don't pack that's something that maybe they should learn if you don't pack a headphone jack at least give the people a USB Type-C adapter or USB Type-C hands-free set very nice this is a uh, standard charger from Lego I think it's a 10 watt charger 3000 mAh power battery should charge it around an hour and a half uh, no big deal here and uh, this is the USB Type-C cable the headphones again very very nice USB Type-C headphones for $100 and you get all these uh, on the silicone case for it as well uh, this is uh, supposed to be the manual warranty, but uh, let's leave that aside, it's nothing interesting. Let's check out the SIM tray slots here. It's a dual nano SIM, which one of the SIM tray slots can be used as an SD card. You can you can extend the gigs of on both storage, I think definitely up to 120 gigabytes more. And now let's turn on this phone. It's uh, too sunny outside for me to test it uh, properly, so I'll have to bring it inside. And this is the device itself as you can see a uh, very very thin bezels on all the sides but it's definitely not bezel-less however the screen to body ratio here is amazing something like uh, i think more than 80 percent oops uh, fingerprint scans on the front <laughs> on the back um fingerprint scan seems to be functioning all right let's set this device up this is running android 7 nougat it's an international rom um supposedly lots of languages available inside uh, google now seems to work just uh, fine setting it up so it should work with the phone and also you get google, google assistant of course this is something which is has become mandatory for chinese phones and i like that they're packing it as well and uh, they want to have a very very streamlined and very stock like experience with their android uh, now the Lego device is running uh, a different launcher it's not a stock launcher it's uh, Lego's own launcher and uh, it, uh, as I see, it doesn't have an app drawer. Phone itself looks very nice. Uh, let's take another look at it inside as well. Build quality is uh, as far as you can get, uh, around hundred dollars, definitely, at least uh, better than the Redmi Note 5A, which is a bit more expensive even. And the display is actually actually very very good looking too. So far, like looking like a pretty decent package for around hundred dollars. Uh, uh, as far as uh, looks go and build quality, uh, this is running uh, as I see the latest software from the company. Let's play this off for mirror vision. I don't see an adaptive brightness, or so, um, there must not be a light sensor in here, and I've seen that with the Blue Boys one as well. And there is no uh, notification light, too, but the display does have. Uh, 
a blue light filter which is great for reading this is a very nice small little phone uh, but it will have some compromises of course for a hundred dollars as i said don't go expecting something like really amazing this is for all of you who want to get uh, that's a uh, very good screen to body ratio, very good, almost bezel-less like experience on a very, very tight budget here. And here are the specs confirm Android 7 Nougat, uh, MTK6750 Octa-Core, 3 gigs of RAM, 3 gigs of on-board storage. Now the Legal Kika Mix uses the same camera as for the back and the front. Um, an Omnivision sensor, 8 megapixel for the front and 30 megapixel for the back with uh, an additional 2 megapixel camera for depth of field information or SLR effect. This is a dual camera phone, but uh, it, both cameras are not active to produce a better photo. Uh, the second camera is just for depth of field. And now let's see the band supported from this device. And this cam 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 20, and 40. So this phone will definitely work 100%. Uh, in Asia and in Europe uh, 4G no problem in the European Union but it will not work in the United States uh, so again all of you from the States who want a very cheap good looking phone this will not be it but uh, if you're living in Asia or in Europe this is a very fine choice for $100 as you can tell uh, it does also come with plenty of free teams and wallpapers from Lego another very good step they have been getting much better and better at their own launcher for a few times and their own software so it's uh, becoming more mature now having more free content uh, really challenging here when it comes uh, to being able to provide some additional content for its users which is very welcome at just a hundred dollars and let's check the google now again okay google find me the nearest marketplace And next up, uh, I'll just uh, go through some settings so you can check out a few other things if you're interested, like the language support. This does have plenty of languages. Storage and RAM are real. And now I'll check the sound test from the speakers and then we'll move on to the camera. Let's do a quick fingerprint test, by the way. Should be a very quick fingerprint scanner. This recognizes and unlocks. Oops. Yes, adequate. I would say fast enough for $100. And this is the camera test itself. And this will conclude my first impressions and unboxing of Lego Kika Mixer. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel for more honest opinions on the products. The Lego Kicker Mix looks uh, like a decent $100 phone, but uh, nothing really sensational outside the very good screen to body ratio, build quality, and packing USB Type C with USB Type C headphones inside. This has been Stephen Fox. Uh, thank you for viewing in. Share the video so that your friends can watch them as well. And of course, you can buy the phone from the link in the description below if you're interested. And look forward to my full review next week. Peace out. Yeah. Stick around.